the life there generation, that I may be able to liberate all sentient beings from their suffering. May the precious Bodhi mind not yet born arise and grow. May that born have no decline but increase forevermore. Due to the positive potential accumulated by myself and others in the past, present, and future, may anyone who merely sees, hears, remembers, touches, or talks to me be free in that very instant from all suffering and abide in happiness forever. In all rebirth, may I and all other sentient beings be born in a good family, have clear wisdom and great compassion, be free of pride and devoted to our spiritual masters, and live in accordance with our vows and commitments to the spiritual masters. In whatever guise you appear, O sentient being, whatever your retinue, your lifespan, and pure land, whatever you name most noble and holy, may I and all those attain only thee. By the force of these phrases and requests made to you, may all disease, poverty, fighting, and quarrels be calm. May the Dharma and all auspiciousness increase throughout the world and direction where I and all others dwell. When you are not in meditation, but are doing your daily activities, visualize and be mindful of a small generate being of a lonely star and may your radiant light in your heart, which is especially effective to help you be mindful of your actions. For Shinrei-G is a witness to all you do or say during the day. Also, whatever your heart or enjoy other you hear, or maybe, I'm not sure if that's right, whatever your heart or enjoy other sense pleasures, imagine offering them to Shinrei-G. When you are afraid, rather than become proud, Think that other people are praising Shinrei Z. So maybe we'll go to uh, uh, you know, long life stories that are telling us. It's in Tibetan, but it's something like uh, the Buddha says that in the mountains surrounded by snow, may that being uh, known as Shinrei uh, Z uh, continue to take birth in this world for the benefit of all beings. So it goes. See it there on the bottom of six. Dari Warwe Kore Jingam Ver, Sin Ben Dawe Mami Jingi, Sin Re Jing Wan Hin Bin Jato Mi, Dari Vide Bajo Sin Do we need to know the content, the meaning of it? or? Uh, the point is the long life prayer. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Oh, it's okay, maybe next time. Yeah, next time. Mm -hmm. I'll make a copy. Okay. So, uh, if you want, you can use it on a daily yeah. basis or mm -hmm. whenever you feel like it. Because it just gives us a wave of light, a wave of nectar. It actually has the power to purify our mind, speech, and mind. And remember, there's no separation from the Tony and Shinrei They're the same. So you can receive the blessings even from the Tony. Shinrei is ever easier. How practically can we do it? What? Practically, can, can, how can we do it? Just sit in your chair, sit in okay. meditation, whatever, and read through it just like you did. Mm -hmm. All my practices are read, or recited. Mm -hmm. They're memorized in Tibetan, I recite them. So I recite them all, and some are 60 pages long. I read them, but after a while, you realize, oh, there's something happening on another level, like there's mm -hmm. rays of light coming, you know, I'm receiving the blessings now. You have to really try to receive the blessings of body, speech, and mind. And this eliminates our negative mind, our negative speech, our negative actions to our body. Remember the three negative actions of the body? Can you repeat again? Can anybody remember any of the negative actions of the body? Feeling, feeling, sexual misconduct. Sexual misconduct means like another person's mate. The family, say, oh, an underage child, an underage woman, and I'm having 
section where the halt didn't occur, we think the section was still there. And then in 4C, we talk about why, how that works. You know, every one of these negative actions has future events that are you know, immediately predestined. You follow me? We talk about why and how that causes these three things to happen. So there's line, process, order, and operation. Then there's three of mana. How's an intent? Wanting to possess what belongs to others and close mindedness. Like the, there's no such thing as a Buddha. There's no such thing as a spiritual path. There's, it doesn't matter what I do. There's no such thing as cause and effect. This is my close mind. So those are the ten clear mind forces in life. And so it's sealed. What happens is in our future, we'll need our possessions. Well, when you're born without things in the very land, the possessions we have will be of low quality and they'll break. You've been around people whose cars break all the time. I know people whose cars break no matter what they have. Their stuff breaks. It's because they misuse people's possessions. Either this or in a previous life. I loaned them my car to go to church on Easter Sunday. They ripped the whole bottom of the car out. They drove up and they said, oh, well, there's something wrong with your car. They never said another word. And later I heard from their daughter, she was bragging, hey, your car made it through the landslide where so-and-so's Jeep couldn't even go, okay? <laughs> they never said the word to me. But their cars always had problems after that. So they were actually like stealing from me, okay? They destroyed my own, my stuff for their, just for themselves. So it caused them to have broken cars. This is nobody, there's no accident. Whatever happens, we made it. Nobody can hurt us or anything ever. It's, we did this. We're the cause of this. If we think like that, then we have power. It it's, can change us. It's only the actions or our consciousness. If we can think wrong, but we didn't do uh, the bad action, so how our consciousness... No, is no. There's, if, we, if it happens to us, we have the bad action with our body, future, and life. Okay, no, so she's thinking that if you think something bad but don't actually do it, is it the same effect? No. You actually no. have to do something. Right, bad. right. But nevertheless, if we hold the thought of harmful intent, eventually, if we hold it long enough, it can ripen into an action mm. because it gathers power. Okay, you so know, if you hold on to anger, the longer you hold on to it, the angrier you get. Oh, it's very important to know. So mm -hmm. you, you have to be careful. You try to get away from the negative state of mind as soon as possible, because that's what happens when people get angry; they hurt somebody. But that's what happens to criminals. They get so angry, then they they hurt mm -hmm, people. Mm -hmm. But if it's just this thought, and it's nothing wrong with that. Uh, what? If it's just yeah. if it's only your mind, your thoughts, then it doesn't. <coughs> There is anything negative. But it's negative. Negative. He just said that's what I'm trying. No, no. What it is is that uh, it's causing uh, your mind to have a, like, you know, like every thought might be creating a little mark, and each time you think that way, it gets deeper. Mm -hmm. Like snowball, it goes. So it's first you stop it in the mind. You have to control the mind first, then it doesn't ripen in your speech or in your body. So you, if you keep thinking a thing long enough, you'll turn into it. So you have to recognize it as a negative thought. Wait a minute. That's going to harm me, and it's going to harm others. Or it's going to harm others and harm me. I'm not going to think like that. Who's in charge here? Where did that thought come from? What is the cause of that? Is it me wanting stuff for myself? Or does somebody do something to me that I haven't forgiven? You know, there's many causes like that. I mean, many people have harmed me. I'm still holding on to some crap in here sometimes, okay? I go, what is that guy? He's just hurting me. I haven't forgiven those people, you know? doesn't matter what they do. Why am I carrying this trash around? It just makes me unhappy. There was an old saying, um, somebody told me a long time ago, that your thoughts are like birds. They can fly over, over your head, but they don't need to build a nest. Good. Oh, excellent. Nice. That's a good mm -hmm. one. Yeah. I like that one. Yeah, that's a very good one. Huh? Yeah, the mind is must. That's where you have to control everything. Because yeah. without the mind, nothing, but the mind controls the other two. I just read about the mind that our body and our brain is one whole, and the mind is uh, the tool that we're using between the brain and the body. Yeah, I don't think about the brain too much. I just think, <laughs> I think the mind is the boss, though, okay? Because uh, nobody's ever proved the mind is the brain. Nobody's ever proved that. 
This is what I'm saying. Uh -huh. It's kind of a tool between your body and your brain. Uh, this yeah, is your if, mind. Yeah, if you don't have a brain, it doesn't work either, does it? If you don't have the brain, so you yeah, don't have the body, either, so you're... <laughs> Thank you so much.